You see the, just a little bit of breathing space in the relegation battle. The question is whether Neil Moss keeping a clean sheet against the champions Arsenal has given Southampton the confidence to improve upon their appalling away record, which has produced just one win and six points. Changes in the two lineups are in the main forced by injury. An exception is David Burrows, who returns to the starting lineup after missing Saturday because of suspension. But a bruised instep keeps Stephen Proggart out of the Coventry team, so Tron Solvet, who scored the only goal in this fixture last season, comes in. Southampton lose Egil Ostenstedt and Stuart Ripley, so James Beattie, a sub in the scoreless draw with Arsenal, starts this time, and Chris Marsden makes his eighth appearance since joining from Birmingham City in January. The referee is Uriah Rennie, assisted by Ahog and A. Butler. Christian names Andy in both cases. A breezy afternoon in the main, the wind blowing from right to left, slightly from the near corner. David Jones played uh, 11 games here for Coventry City to the Southampton manager before suffering a serious knee injury in the match at Derby. Telfer. Huckabee. Well, that's not a very good kiss by Ting! Well, the goalkeeper was away from home and Mutting really wasn't very far away. Green got a bit of it, that's a good save. Well watch by Moss. Certainly couldn't gather it, just turned it over. Williams trying to find some space, Linda Crumb looking for him. And Dodd didn't put it out. He's appealing that he did, but he didn't. That's off the line. Scott Hiley who cleared. Shot area. And Green gets the flick, and Telfer just couldn't get enough of the ball. Three players went for it together. Dodd, Colletier and Telfer. Telfer just couldn't get enough. Green caused the problems again. He's done that quite consistently. Marston. Dodd breaking from midfield. Beatty. Colletier to his left. Beatty intent on going on. Didn't stay on his feet when he was challenged by two. No free kick given. Telfer, end to end. It's a cup tie, but arguably a greater importance than that. And Solvet, and following up was Boateng. Boateng, the scorer. Good ball in by Breen, Solbet, an excellent save, but Boateng following up. It's a really nice ball in. Southampton caught with not enough men back. And Coventry City lead. And they maintain their run of scoring, which now goes to 15 games on their own ground. And Coventry City have such an important victory. Gordon Strachan takes three more points. David Jones has to accept another defeat, but his side really couldn't have offered more. Boateng's goal, decisive, came in the 65th minute. Two teams scrambling up the cliff. Coventry City inching their way to safety. Southampton slipping further down, but they tried so, so hard and often played some good football. Against Liverpool.